In this lesson, we learn about the discriminant of the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. It is used to calculate solutions to quadratic equations. The b squared minus 4ac part of this equation, inside the square root, is known as the discriminant. We will look at how the number of solutions to an equation depends on the value of the discriminant. Here we solve x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 4. And c is the constant term, which is 3. Here is the quadratic formula. We need to work out minus b, b squared minus 4ac, and 2a. If b equals minus 4, minus b equals plus 4. If a equals 1, 2a equals 2. b squared is always positive. If b equals minus 4, b squared equals 16, because minus 4 times minus 4 equals 16. 4ac means 4 times a times c, which is 4 times 1 times 3, which equals 12. Now we have b squared and 4ac. b squared minus 4ac equals 4. We can now substitute these values into the quadratic formula. Minus b equals 4. The discriminant b squared minus 4ac equals 4 and 2a equals 2. The square root of 4 is 2 so the equation simplifies to 4 plus 2 over 2 and 4 minus 2 over 2. Working these out 4 plus 2 equals 6 and 6 divided by 2 equals 3 4 minus 2 equals 2, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. We have two solutions, and the graph looks like this. The discriminant of b squared minus 4ac was equal to 4, which is positive. We could square root it. We have one solution here, and one solution here. If the discriminant is a positive number, we have two solutions, which are where the quadratic graph crosses the x-axis. Here we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. a equals 1, b equals minus 4, and c equals 4. If b equals minus 4, minus b equals plus 4 a equals 1, so 2a equals 2. b squared is minus 4 times minus 4, which equals 16. 4ac is 4 times 1 times 4, which equals 16. Here, b squared minus 4ac is 16 minus 16, which equals 0. We substitute values. Now the square root of 0 is just 0. So we have x equals 4 plus 0 over 2 and x equals 4 minus 0 over 2. 4 plus 0 equals 4 and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 4 take away 0 equals 4, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. We have the same answer. The graph of the quadratic looks like this. The discriminant is 0. When we square root 0, we get 0.
and this results in the answers to the quadratic equation being the same. We have one solution of x equals 2. The only way for our graph to touch the x-axis once is like this, with the graph sitting on the x-axis. If we have a discriminant of 0, the quadratic has one solution. Here we have x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. a equals 1, b equals minus 3, c equals 5. b equals minus 3, so minus b equals plus 3. 2a equals 2. b squared is minus 3 times minus 3, which equals 9. 4ac is 4 times 1 times 5, which equals 20. The discriminant b squared minus 4ac is 9 minus 20, which equals minus 11. We substitute our values in. Within this equation, we now have the square root of minus 11. We cannot square root a negative number. This means that we cannot solve the quadratic equation. We have not done anything wrong, it just means that the equation has no solution. There are no values of x that will give x squared minus 3x plus 5 an answer of 0. Here is the graph. It can still be plotted but it never touches the x-axis. b squared minus 4ac was negative. We couldn't square root it. Negative discriminants mean that there are no solutions. The graph is completely above the x-axis. There are three cases. Positive values of the discriminant give two solutions. If the discriminant is zero, there is one solution. Negative discriminants give us no solutions. We can use this to decide how many solutions x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0 has. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 9. b squared equals 36. 4 times 1 times 9 equals 36. So 4ac equals 36. b squared and 4ac are both 36. 36 minus 36 equals 0. If the discriminant is 0, we have one solution. We would need to complete the quadratic formula to find what the solution is but we know that there will only be one. How many solutions does 5x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0 have? a equals 5, b equals minus 2, and c equals minus 1. b squared is minus 2 times minus 2, which equals plus 4 b squared is always positive. 4ac is 4 times 5 times minus 1, which equals minus 20. b squared equals 4. And we subtract 4ac, which is minus 20. To subtract a negative, we add. 4 add 20 equals 24. Watch out for examples with a negative discriminant, as we will always need to do an addition when we subtract a negative number. The discriminant is 24, which is a positive number. Therefore, we have two solutions. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.